Um, I mean, I, I think overall we had a fantastic camp. Um, you know, offense, defense, we competed with each other. You know, we made each other better. Um, I think that was the ultimate goal. And now it's time to put it all together. I'm excited. Um, you know, we're a couple of weeks away from playing um, New Orleans, and you know, I'm looking forward to that challenge, um, the opening. But I, like I said, we, from OTAs to the um, mini camp to training camp, I, I feel like we have put it together. Um, you know, we build, we got some pieces here that who, you know, I knew going to be big for us you know, with them coming in, uh, especially on our defense side with Arden and SMB, guys like that. You know, they just been making plays for us throughout camp. And like I said, I'm, just, I'm excited um, to see, um, you know, especially when we get ready to open up against New Orleans to see how far we came because during camp we, we looked pretty good. So Good to get out of the, out of the heat and get indoors. Oh, yesterday was a hot one. Uh, I mean, this game of football, though, you know, I, I've been, I grew up down south my whole life. I grew up uh, here, so right in Mississippi, so it ain't too much um, better. Uh, but, you know, it was good to get in inside today, especially come off yesterday. You know, we had a, a real good day yesterday. You know, I, of course, it was very competitive. You know, we had the blue and white, but, you know, I look forward to That's the reason, that's why I was so excited, you know, when it was like, okay, this is the last, of course, like today's the last day of pre, I mean, training camp, but you got um, New Orleans coming up, and I'm, Looking like, dang, we making plays down the field like that on offense. We making a lot of plays on defense like that. Even especially seeing guys competing like that. So I'm, like I said, I'm excited for you know what the bring, what this year bring for us. There are a lot of guys on Friday night that are going to be, you know, playing for their football lives. As a veteran, how much fun is that watching these guys, you know, give it everything they got, either to try to make this team or put good stuff on tape for another team? Man, I, like I got even, even the um, young guy come to me. I, I tell him, man, don't. Don't worry about tomorrow, worry about today. And, um, you know, each day you step into this building, you want to kind of do something that grab the eye of, um, you know, not just, you know, your teammates or the people upstairs, you know, just everyone around, you know, even because you got 31 other team looking, um, you know, everyone watching the same game. And, um, you know, these kids, these young kids, you know, coming in, like I was once in that um, chair as well, being a young guy. Wouldn't say just trying to fight during the team because I was, you know, got drafted here. But, you know, I know kind of that feeling, you know, because you can hear the way they talk sometimes, you know, just they don't know. And um, like I said, the only thing you can do is control what you can control. And, you know, that's just how I go by my life, you know, control the controllables. And, you know, that's one thing I tell them, just focus on today. And, um, and like I said, they have another opportunity this, this coming up week. I mean, it's Friday to show that they deserve to be here. And, you know, quite frankly, they need to be here. That's... That's kind of the uh, message. I mean, even with Brave, you know, give them a reason to, sh- to let them know that I deserve to be on this team. You need a, you need me to win. So I'm excited um, for a lot of these young guys, man. And, you know, however they can help us, um, you know, it'd be great. But, you know, if guys don't make it here, I'm sure they'll be somewhere else. And, you know, wish them best of luck. But like I said, right now it's you know, just focus on um, Friday and I hope they can be here. You looking at Saints tape already or are you just kind of I for sure that. already started watching. Um, I had started a couple weeks um, back here, just looking at some of the guys that I know. Um, you know, getting ready like two years ago. You know, we faced a lot of them guys that are gonna be up there with the center. Um, you know, I remember playing him at um, when he was at A and M, and then I think that guard coming back. He was hurt that year, but I've been watching him as well at the left guard. Um, I want to say Pete is uh, Pete. Um, so just guy like that, I just been watching, and um, of course we didn't face Derek Carr before. We know, um, I mean, it's a long way ahead, but and, you know, just a running game. You know, good thing. <laughs> I mean, I know we ain't facing Alvin Kamara, which I'm kind of happy. But also, I know for a fact that they have another running back in the backfield out of Jamal Williams, who pretty he's running the ball pretty hard. And you know, I, I liked him as a player uh, when he was with Detroit. And you know, just another test on our hand. And of course, we're gonna have, have to affect the quarterback because they have good skill guys. But yeah, I have started watching them um, because I know that. That's the big t- task at hand for me, especially getting ready for this upcoming season because that's number one on hand. You mentioned yeah. film study, but then like with this being the last day of camp, no preseason game for you, what are some of the things that you're going to do just to ramp it up and, and roll into that first game you know, at, at peak performance? I mean, I think with me, first off, it's just making sure my body all the way um, feeling good. I mean, I, of course, I won't never be 100% going into a football season. That's part of the game of football, but you know I, I'm feeling good. You know I'm moving good, but I think especially when you when you trying to um, figure out, especially with film study, you know a lot of them starters don't play in preseason game. Um, I think the good thing about it that 
the guys on the offensive line have, have they either played with them last year or was on another team. So, you know, I'm, um, you know, Coach G do a hell of a job with that, you know, putting stuff in the uh, folder for me to watch. Um, you know, I think that's one of the things that can ramp up for me. Um, and another thing I, I was getting ready to do now, just, you know, trying to do a little more cardio, knowing that I, you know, this is, is, is almost here. And I want to be in uh, tip top shape. I want to make sure that I could give um, the Tennessee Titans the best Jefferson in there. So, um, I, I'm, like I said, I'm excited. Um, it came here, this, it feel like can't went by so fast. And now it's here. Now it's just like, you know, what's next? And New Orleans Saints next for us. What's your thoughts been on, on Caleb uh, Murphy so far, Jefferson? And then you had a couple of sacks and you've been impressed by what, what he's done. Oh, yeah, I man, I, I like Caleb. Um, you know, he one of them guys that want to learn. Um, you know, even from me, I'm not even in his room. But, you know, we rush together. Um, when you guys, you got, especially on the same side, um, when you got two guys on the same page or, you know, you're talking about the whole front where you can get all the uh, front four guys rushing together and on the same page. It makes things even easier for us to um, affect the quarterback. And I would say, like yesterday, we had a uh, rep at practice where, you know, I I, told, I called something and Caleb just didn't get it. You know, he um, we kind of went on the same page, I should say. And, you know, one thing he did, when we talked about it on the field, then he went and got his iPad out to practice and came and talked to me about the exact same place. So, you know, when you got a young guy like that, that, you know, can rush like he can rush, but also just want to learn and be on the same page, um, especially with his interior guy, you know, you can't help but to respect it. And like I said, he, you can see he have gotten better since when he first got here up to now. So like I said, I'm excited to see him, um, you know, if he, you know, I don't know what's, you know, his status, but, you know, when if he for sure on his team, you know, he going to help us. I know he can help us um, up front, so. Has he taken it to another level this game? Yeah, man, you can tell. You know, I mean, I mean, every, this clip that went viral last week when we was in Minnesota, and that's not not a surprise to the guys in his room, um, in, in our room, I should say. I think it's, it's just him, you know. I, I, we talk about it. We hear Coach C, we talk, I mean, we hear Coach Rabe, you know, kind of one of the things where the only person can stand in his way is him. Uh, you know, he have gotten so much better. He's a powerful guy. And, you know, when he's going, you know, I, I just, when he in shape and things like that, you know, he could be unstoppable. And like I said, we have saw that this training camp. And so there's another guy just I'm excited to see. You know, um, he even talked about it, just one of the things where he got to prove it, um, that he could do it again year after year. And like I said, this the year for him to prove it. So I'm excited to see that. He's a very emotional guy, too. Sometimes those emotions kind of bubble over. Do you ever talk to him about, about um, I mean, when it, when it comes down to it, you know, when you know, we always talking about it's okay to be um, emotional, like an emotional player, but not emotion. You know, try not to do that. And um, that sometimes could be. I think um, even at practice, you know, when when we practice against our own guys, you know, or in the means or whatever it may be, drawing and you know maybe throw a punch or things like that. I mean, we know how we know that is not what we're supposed to do around here. Um, we know that's not the football. So I think um, because I'm a, I would say I play with a lot of emotions, and um, I mean that's one of the things we bo you have to learn as a player. You know how far to go. You know it's a line right there where you just can't cross. So um, I, I'm not mad at him for playing with a lot of emotion. That's that just tell you that he loved the game of football, and you know he loved what he does. So um, I mean that's one of I mean I don't really think I should have, I have to talk to him. I mean we hear it enough from Coach Brave. Don't do dumb. Yeah, everybody know the rest. But <laughs> <laughs> but but yeah, man. I, I think that's I mean it's okay to be play play the game with a lot of emotion. And I, like I like I said, I play the game with a lot of emotions, and you, sometimes you just gotta know how far to take it. One of those Come guys on. that also plays with a lot of motion is Arden Key. You mentioned him as being a beneficial addition to this team. You had him on one side yesterday, you on the other side, and I don't know who was louder, but how has he kind of helped you continue to take that up to the level in camp and just continue to challenge yourself in that way with the leadership? Well, it's fun. It's, it's fun to have someone who could be out there talking with me and sometimes kind of talk more to me, um, especially with Arden like yesterday. You know, I think that's what we need, though. Like. You know, when you out there talking and making plays, you know, not that just, especially like yesterday, like you, he over there talking, I'm like, I can't say nothing because he over there making plays, he getting sacks. But at the end of the day, um, like I said, yesterday is just now it's putting it all together for us. And I, t I think with me personally, you know, having a teammate like that, it just, it pushed me to a higher level because I know for a fact, like, I love to make plays. And I know if I got him, Harold, Danico, them guys coming on third down like that, 
I have to make my moves. I have to beat my guy. I live faster than him. So I think we we even talked about it. Like we have our own little inside things we doing. Um, you know, like me and Danico versus Hera. I mean, uh, me and Hera versus Danico and and Art. It's just things like that where we want to compete with each other to push each other. And, and like I said, it's not just about us beating each other. It's about how can we, as a front four, especially on third down affect the quarterback, but also with the competition level with it. And uh, like I said, just his addition, you know, his energy, his his passion for the game, you know, it's, it's just, it's great because I could see myself as R not there because, I mean, we're the same guy, but, you know, not. But you know what I mean. But, yeah, I, it's exciting to have him um, on our team. So Going out, there, going out sure. there and every day against the offensive line, you guys have won your share of battles. How, how much – do you feel like those guys on the other side of the ball have improved going against y'all? A lot, a lot. I even stood out there when I was talking to Peter yesterday. I just, I could tell how much he have gotten better from day one when he got here. When we, I got a couple of wrestling in OTAs. You know, he's a guy that I know. Um, you know, we expect a lot of, um, especially our team, and um, they drafted him as for our first round pick for a reason. And he, he have shown that he have got better. He got a lot of good work from me and Danico. Even uh, guys like Tartanum have gave him a lot of work. And just everybody else, you know, we got some vets across there, especially with Brewer and, um, you know, uh, Brunskill, guys like that inside. You know, I'm excited because I, you know, we, when you when you at practice like that and, you know, maybe Brunskill, you know, he's an older guy, a vet, veteran. We, like today, we just talking about, all right, when, when you do such and such, like if, I, if you bull me to this and that, this hard for offensive lineman, right? and or I come to him and be like, "This is what you need to see when, especially when guys run the game. You see this. It's just being able to communicate them things and compete with each other. This is one of the things that we always say: the game of football, iron shop or iron. And you know, I'm excited to have them type of guys. And even with Brew, you know, he real feisty there at that center position. Um, being able to go against him, interior guys. Like, I mean, I have saw so much an improvement in our offensive line, and like I said, I'm excited to see them um, this year as well. What's that? Does Harold look all the way back to you? What do you mean, look all the way back? I mean, 100%, just like the guy you knew in 21. Oh, oh, you saying do it? Okay, healthy, well, health yeah. wise. Um, I mean, I don't, I don't know. Um, you know, I don't. I'm kind of not a um, real. I'm not a doctor, but I don't know. But I, I know for a fact, just seeing his get off, seeing him pass rush. I know, especially his bend. Um, it's, it's exciting to see, especially because he on my team right now, versus Arden and um. And Danico, so I I know for a fact that he ready for this year. He um especially missing the whole year of football coming off the ACL. I didn't miss a whole year, but I knew how it was coming off the ACL. But I know for a fact I could just hear the way he talked. Um, you know when we have our conversation that he's ready for this year and he's ready for that opportunity to, to show that he back to himself. So, Thanks, yep. Yeah, I'm good either way. You know, ex excited uh, and and. Um, Happy with how you know things have progressed for us as an offense over the course of, of spring and training camp. Uh, guys are coming out and, and grinding away. Obviously, it's not 100 percent yet, but we're we're building each and every day and we're learning from something each and every day. And you know whatever Coach Rabel decides for uh, for Friday, I'll be good with. You mentioned not 100 percent yet. Is this where you guys are in terms of the install and the offense, especially the new parts? Is this where you hoped you would be at this? Point? In the, the third preseason game? Yeah, I think so. I'm excited about, about where we're at. You know, a lot of guys have put in a lot of work, gotten a lot better over the course of uh, course of training camp. You know, we're at the point right now playing against our defense a lot where we're trying new things and, and kind of experimenting a little bit, you know, trying to see you know, how we can take advantage of some of the stuff we do. Some of it works, some of it doesn't, you know, but that's that's good work for us as far as going into the season. You know, we'll see a lot of similar coverages and, and things like that throughout the season. So, um, you know, trying some stuff out right now and, you um, I feel like it'll help us as we move forward. What have you learned, Ryan, about Deion Gray that maybe you didn't know, you know before he signed? And, and especially like even the last couple of days, it looks like that connection is really transforming. Would you, would you agree? With the thing? Yeah, I like, I like spending time with him. You know, I think that's one thing that, you know, you never really know how someone is going to be personally, personally, um, you know, how that communication, how that relationship is going to go, obviously. You know, saw his game from afar and, and respected his game, was a fan of his game from afar for, for a long time now. But um, you never really know how someone's going to be um, when you're in the same building and the same room together. So enjoyed getting to know him and, and spending some time with him. Uh, obviously, you know, the, the plays I've seen him make for the last, whatever, 10 years, uh, the same ones that, that I see him making now, you know, just with his body control, understanding, you know, how to use his length and his, his size to, uh, 
to create some space and, and get himself open and then just being able to to trust him knowing you know he's going to uh he's going to either make the play in tight coverage or or nobody is so uh, that's been fun for me just getting to know his body language how he moves how he you know comes in and out of routes and then and just being able to trust him in that was there a point where you reached that like, trust level to be able to look he's covered but you know what i'm still going to go to him I think it just it wasn't like a, a tipping point, but it was just you know it's been growth throughout throughout our time together. You know, I think even early on, I think maybe the first pass I threw to him was tight coverage on a on a go ball down the field and and gave him a shot, uh, kind of high ball, and, and he went up and got it. And so it wasn't like I never trusted. You know, I kind of like knew what it was coming in that that you know you have to be able to to throw into tight windows with him and um, trust him to go to go make the plays. Now. We have the reps kind of stacked up now where I've seen him make it. I've, I've been able to put those balls in, in spots where he's been able to get them. So, um, you know, excited about where he's at and where we can go moving forward. What's the benefit, I guess, Traylon and Kyle go down? And what are you trying to tell those guys to keep them encouraged, stay with it, so when they are back, they'll be ready to go? Yeah, injuries are tough, man. You don't, uh, you don't ever want to see anybody go down um, at any point. But uh, to have those two guys go down pretty close together there uh, is tough, you know. We're uh, we're trying to stay positive with them. You know they're not going to be, uh, hopefully not extended extended amounts of time. But um, you know whenever they're ready, they'll be back and excited to uh, to just try to you know help out as much as I can, keep them engaged. You know through the process. I think that's a big thing. Is when you're when you're injured, you know you're not with the guys in the practice field. Uh, sometimes you're you're missing meetings. You're getting extra treatment, uh, so you don't feel uh, as in tune with everything going on. So just being intentional about. Uh, trying to keep those guys engaged with what we're doing and, and subtle changes that we make uh, along the way. That way, when they come back, they're ready to go. How did he really handle that this week? His first kind of brush with injury as a pro. How's he kind of handled staying involved? Yeah, I think he's done a good job. You know, he's uh, seemingly stayed involved. You know, he's engaged in the in the meetings, and um, you know, I think he obviously engaged during practices and then learning from uh, the other reps that we've had out there. So, uh, kind of same same deal with him. Jeffrey, you expressed excitement over the season pointing to yesterday and the fact that both sides of the line of scrimmage made big plays. You see the same thing? Yeah, yesterday was fun, man. I haven't uh, haven't had a practice like that in, in some years. But uh, you know, I feel like we I feel like Coach Brable split the team pretty evenly. Uh, it was it was great competitions across the board, uh, from up front to outside. Um, everyone was engaged and into it, so that was a a fun practice and I think we got a lot out of it. Yeah, I've seen a lot of growth, yeah, and just the way those guys are playing, I think, um, you know, over the past week and a half or so, really seen um, them feel like they've taken a step, a uh, step in the right direction, um, coming off the football, playing physical, uh, understanding what we're trying to accomplish and how we're doing it. You know, we're, we're doing uh, a lot at this point, and, and those guys are now seemingly in tune with what we're trying to do and, and the nuances of, of the different schemes we're running. So uh, excited um, for the step that they've taken and just have to keep the foot on the gas. Kyle Landry said as he was going through that rehab process, he spoke to you and went to you for advice. Do you remember like, anything that you told him in particular? Yeah, Harold, uh, Harold came to me a lot during that time. And uh, I'm glad to be there You know, for Harold or, or anybody that's going through injury. Unfortunately, I've dealt with some things over the years. And uh, it's part of the game. But um, I don't remember specifically. You know, he had questions of, of you know, things that uh, things he was feeling or dealing with, and you know, how it was my experience throughout the process, and just tried to be open and honest and, and communicate the things that I was was dealing with at different points throughout the process, and um, you know, help him, you know, really have I really have empathy for him and and, and um, help him understand that, that everything he was going through was normal and uh, and it's going to get brighter down the road. Curious for your opinions on going up against the secondary, though, like what you've seen from those guys during the course of time, and anything that might have stood out for you. Yeah, they're out there competing. You know, you look at different guys who've who've made plays. You know, I think uh, you know, Sean's out there. He's, his play is uh, improving. Christian's had a great camp, in my opinion. You know, he's out there competing every day, um, making a lot of plays uh, for the defense. You know, you have Hook and, and KB on the back end who are, are veterans now and, and understand. What they're trying to do, different looks, disguising. You know, they're pretty, pretty in sync with all their disguise and stuff like that. So, um, just across the board, Roger, I think, is at a great camp as well. So, um, seeing a lot of growth, and, and those guys are competing. And at the end of the day, 
Uh, when, when, when defenses and, and secondaries want to go out and play physical and compete and contest, try to make contested uh, catches, it's going to make it hard on offenses. So it's been good work for us. They're fighting. They're fighting. You know, you look at um, a receiver room that's it's uh, got some really good competition. You know, I think uh, we all know our, our, our top couple guys, but then past that, there's a lot of competition. And uh, some guys have stepped up. Some guys have, have been, making, been making plays for us. You know, you've seen Chris Moore making uh, several plays. Uh, Nick Westbrook consistent as always. Um, you know, Colton was in there a few times today, um, young player. Mason, I think, has had a really good camp uh, of understanding how to uh, – to play that inside for us and, and be a really good slot slot receiver. So uh, I know I'm missing some other guys as well, but there's just really comp good competition. Those guys are pushing each other, no doubt about it. And, um, you know, it's going to be interesting to see how things shake out. How does Tajay Spears maybe give you guys another weapon maybe that you haven't had somebody exactly with his skill set the last few years? I love Tajay, man. I'm uh, excited to have him on our team. Man, he's, he comes, he works each and every day. He has a great attitude. Um, he has a great skill set, you know, what he's able to do, his, his juice coming out of the backfield, whether the, you're handing it to him and the ball is in his hands or, or you're um, trying to get it to him in the air, whether you split him out outside, out of the backfield, either way. Uh, and then pass protection, you know, that's the thing that's a lot of times these fast speed backs don't want to really stick their face up in there and, and pass protection. And, and he's proven on multiple occasions that he's willing and able to, to step up in there against a linebacker and, and make a great block at the line of scrimmage. So. Uh, really excited about Tajay and everything he brings to the table for us. Uh, uh, yeah, I'd say so. Yeah, I think Andre is a guy who's taken a taken a big step uh, over the past month. You know, um, just his consistency, how he's he's playing. You know, he's he's obviously extremely talented with uh, the size, the strength, all the the physical attributes that you look for in a, in a left tackle and. Um, we're really starting to see those things kind of be shown on a down and down base, down and down out basis. You know, um, the strength, the size, the uh, agility, you know, all those types of things. So uh, excited to, of where he's at, and, and hopefully we can just keep uh, keep instilling that confidence in him. All they have to go through what he's going through, and how much can the locker room maybe be a support system for him when he comes back? Yeah, just a tragic, terrible situation. Uh, I Man, I can't even imagine walking through what, what he's walking through right now, him and, and the rest of his family. Um, yeah, it's just really hard to hard to really even understand what he's dealing with, just the magnitude of the situation and how things unfolded and why and, and all those sorts of things. So um, I don't think anyone can really relate exactly with what he's dealing with, but um, we can be there for him, for him try to support him. Uh, as best we can and just know that, that we love him and we care for him and, um, you know, we just want to support him through these tough times. Ryan, you missed the last month of the season last year. Some frustrations with not getting to play football and then preseason you're on the sideline as well. So how ready are you to uh, put the pads back on and play week one? Yeah, I'm excited. You know, I get, to, I get to play. I mean, we're not tackling, but I get to play every day at practice. So uh, I don't feel like I'm, I'm sitting on the couch like I was the last month of the season. It's a little bit different feeling. But uh, yeah, excited to, uh, to keep pressing forward. You know, we still got a couple weeks before week one. Uh, whether we, whether I play this weekend or not, you know, we'll find out. But um, want to just keep ta taking advantage of, of the opportunities we have on the practice field uh, as we move forward here, getting ready for week one. Uh, we'll kind of work through some of that. And we'll see what it looks like here with Ryan. See, you know, get him behind it, uh, offensive line. So I, you know, haven't made a final determination, but that's a possibility. Best message or advice to them? Well, I would say hopefully that hasn't changed since they got here. I mean, well, hopefully they're fighting every day on earning the right to be here. I think if you if you waited till now to, to start fighting, it probably fight's probably over. So I don't think there's anybody like that. Uh, so I don't think that's going to be an issue. With Kyle Phillips out for a little while, do you have an idea already of who you think you want to go with as the punt returner, or do you feel like that competition still? I think that's probably still there open. based on you know where we end up on Tuesday with the final 53. And again, it's going to be fluid. And you know that's why we've been repping a lot of guys and working a lot of guys back there. Keep Sarah in mind for you know, a long time. 
time. He seems like he's having a really good camp. What's he, anything he's done this offseason to put himself in a position to make somebody plays out here on the practice field or just that's just his growth? Well, I think that Amani has, has always shown the knack to make some plays, right? And I think the one thing that's gotten him is availability. You know, no fault of his. And it's just some things that kind of have happened from an injury standpoint that has uh, kept him out. But I think he's always been productive. That's a big part of the reason why we why we like him out there. You know, I mean, just is kind of how it had a couple things show up here last year that limited some of his snaps. And so when he's out there, he's been productive. Do you feel like DeAndre's operating at his peak level right now, like super ready? Uh, yeah, I think he's building towards it. I mean, I think that, you know, if yesterday is any indication, I thought that he practiced uh, with speed and you know, great urgency and following up today and you know, building a relationship with Ryan. So we just got to, you know, continue to get him, um, you know, the things that he needs. You know, he played in this league a lot, of, a lot of years. He's seen a lot of coverages and, you know, it's been fun to watch him just work with Ryan, work with young players and been a, a fun addition to have. What are the things he needs? At well, the conditioning. Point? I mean, I think at this level, it's just conditioning, right? That you, know, you want to be out there as much as possible as a receiver, and making sure that uh, that we're smart, you know, try to get him out there. You know, what are we going to do? Work on some toe drag with him on a set individual today. So just try to get him out there for, you know, warmed up at seven on seven. And then, you know, if we could take a little bit off his legs early on in practice, you know, I'm sure there'll be different plans you know, throughout the season, and, and that'll be one of them. It's supposed to be 101 on Friday. What special plans do you make? Well, if yesterday was any indication, our guys wanted to practice yesterday, and I hope they want to play uh, Friday night because it was hot yesterday, and I didn't hear a guy complain. I thought guys were just wanted to go play football yesterday, and uh, that was probably the most impressive thing. And uh, I would imagine it'll be like that, but we'll have to be on hydration. We'll have to be IVs and everything that we do with Todd and Lauren and Frank and monitor that and, and make sure that, that we're rotating and that we, you know, you want to make sure that you're giving guys opportunities on special teams and with special teams comes speed and distance and, and maybe sometimes fatigue with, with heat, but also that's, that's part of seeing how guys handle some of that. Rarely does, Jill. But looking at the last couple of days, did you get out of this week what you wanted to, despite not having that joint practice? Yeah, I mean, I thought we, yeah, we, we practiced, got everything done that we needed to do, and tried to get out of the heat a little bit today, and just you know shorten things up and, and let guys go play on Friday, get them ready. Was Joe. Evans back at practice today? Coach, do you have a plan for Friday? Uh, no, not yet. We don't have any availability or you know any decisions yet. See how he comes out of practice and see how he feels. past month or so, what's your perception on, on how that group's come together, both the starters and the backup guys? I think everybody's working, everybody's been, you know, stringing some days together and I thought the, I think the conditioning is, is good. You know, when you look at the way we finished the game uh, in Minnesota, you know, pushing pile and being more physical and being able to run the football and control it with the, you know, in the second half, um, you know, we'll always continue to, to make sure that, you know, there's, there's edge rushers in this league that you're going to have to be able to block. And so we have to make sure that, you know, that that's, that's where people are investing resources and money. And so we'll have to make sure that we're doing everything we can to block those guys. You've mentioned a couple times that Tierra's opportunity is enhanced with increased conditioning. What kind of curve have you seen for him on the conditioning front? Saw an impact player on uh, in Minnesota. And uh, saw a player that wanted to work yesterday. And, work on conditioning and work on affecting the quarterback when they threw it and he did that and so I think that he's he's working hard I think the best thing for these linemen is that they that they get it during practice you know it's different than just kind of running some sprints like these guys are in there wrestling with with other linemen and then have to run to the football and get back and and, and do it all again and it's a run one time and then being able to to run off the football and and, and pass rush so the best conditioning, I believe, is is done at practice. That depth at the safety position, you know, behind Mold and Byron and Hooker, how do you like that? How that's developed? Uh, I mean, Mike Brown can, 
continues to progress. Uh, Shai Carter uh, showed up in the game. Tyreek made some plays yesterday, and, and Matt Jackson uh, has shown to, to be um, somewhat of an impact player on special teams. Has drawn a penalty, should have drawn two penalties, really, on the kickoff team, and one on a punt. Uh, made a nice play today, and so they'll all get opportunities on, on Friday night. When you're going through I mean, you have to. It has to. You know, you somebody, you're going to need people on the punt team. You, know, you need guys to protect and cover, and you need guys to cover kicks. And so it's it's a large part of building a roster at every position outside of, you know, the offensive line and the d interior defensive line. Because with the, with the percentage of, like, kickoffs, for example, right, I think it's like 38%, or 31 as opposed to 38%. No, I mean we'll see how this thing shakes out with the with the fair catches. You know, we'll see how that shakes out. But you know, we had three kickoffs inside the twenty yard line in the second half last week. So if we can get the ball, you know, a good hang time on the two yard line, and we feel good about covering covering the kicks, then we'd we'd like to do that. So, but if not, then you know, bang them into the end zone and put them at the twenty five. Well, just more comfort, you know what I mean? Just comfort, you know, it's got, um, you know, come to a new team. And, and again, it's, everybody goes through a different transition. Everybody's got a different personality. And, you know, I think just a lot more comfort level with, you know, it's been good to see him and, and Peter build a relationship, you know, in the meeting rooms and, uh, and that on the field. Well, I mean, he could be rushed the passer, you know, coming in. That was something that he could do and it's done well. And, you know, see if that, you know, carries through on, on Friday night. But he works hard and, you know, I think Crow and Lowe have done a good job. I think Arden and, you know, Danico and, and Harold are three different examples of different ways to rush passer. I'm sure that he's taken a little bit from, from each of those, you know, five people. We appreciated your non-participation report to Nick. Fired just a day off, along with those other guys. Yeah, yeah, everything's fine with Kevin. He had just had, had reached out and communicated that, you know, he had something to take care of, and appreciated him doing that. Sorry, Nick, I didn't give you fired. Did I forgot? You should have seen Nick. He was. <laughs> he should be. He got the golden bear on Jack Nicholas golf shirt right there. <laughs>